sunlight, particularly the wavelength of UVA. When that hits your skin, the nitrates are liberated from the surface of the skin, releasing nitric oxide. And then dietary-wise, it's mostly the green leafy vegetables, so spinach, kale, arugula, and beets. As those nitrates come into your uh, oral pathways, you know, you chew them. If you have the right oral microbiome, the oral microbiome, the nitrate-reducing bacteria break down the nitrates, um, eventually becomes nitrites, and if you have stomach acid, it becomes nitric oxide. So those are the three big lifestyle things that can boost nitric oxide. Mm. And then there's various nutraceuticals and pharmaceuticals that can also help. And the way that someone would be able to tell if their nitric oxide is where it should be is test strips? Test strips are a starting point, but there is a caveat is that if you have an oral infection, they'll be falsely positively high. Mm. So you can't rely on just one data point. But if your test strips are low and white, sometimes it's the person, maybe they're carnivore and they don't eat any vegetables, so they're not putting any nitrates in. Maybe they're a vampire and they never grew out in the sun. Maybe they don't exercise. Okay, you have all these redundant pathways, but if they all start breaking, you're probably gonna start developing vascular disease. And that gets picked up by, your arteries get stiffer on these pulse wave velocity testing, or you can start seeing people's blood pressure start to rise. And it can start rising, you know, just very mildly at the beginning. But, you know, if they go get tested, yeah, they may have low nitric oxide, support them, those things can be reversed. What is the most effective way? So if someone is coming in and their blood pressure is over, let's say it's 125 over 85 or something. So it's not grossly high, it's not emergent. And you give them a nitric oxide precursor. What kind of dose are we looking at? Because what I'm hearing you say is that one reason blood pressure, potentially one reason that blood pressure gets high is that people are nitric oxide deficient